I was interviewed by a fellow from the Daily Beast, which is obviously, for the most part, a very left-wing website. The fellow did a pretty good job. Some areas I disagree with him on, but you would expect that. And I don't remember if he published it or or this aspect of the interview. He did a very long review of me and so forth. And um, I think think he, he asked, or others have asked, are you an entertainer? And not just me, all the conservative talk show hosts. I said, as far as I'm concerned, no. I'm not an entertainer. I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't put on a rubber nose. It was addressed in the article, okay. But it is important to be entertaining, to be compelling, to be interesting. And in my own life, I feel that if I'm interested in a particular subject or issue, then it'll come across. It'll be, it'll be more interesting. It'll be exciting. It may even be compelling. And yet, for the fakes and the amateurs, if they come on and they... They try and show interest in something they have no knowledge about in order to try and differentiate themselves from people. It becomes apparent. The way you succeed in this business, as in any other business or any other walk of life, is to accentuate your positives. I'm asked by young people all the time, how do you succeed in radio? How do you get into radio? First, I say, figure out who you are figure out what you want to say and figure out how to say it in a way that represents what you actually believe do not do not negotiate away your uh, your substance and try and be interesting it's really that simple in all walks of life and whatever you do Don't be a fraud. Don't be a fake. Don't be a pretender. People will pick it up. It's just a matter of time. Be a real human being. All right. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin. 